How's it going everybody? This is Outdoor Ed Live. Um, my name is Trout. This is... I'm Hazel. And um, we're your host today. And so um, first we want to just talk about ourselves. Yeah. Right? And so the first thing, my name is Trout. Um, that is my nature name. The reason why I picked Trout is because I love fishing. And one of the things I love fishing for is Trout. And I just think they're such a pretty fish. Nice. And I'm Hazel. Um, a hazel plant is something that you can find in this forest. It's a super soft leaf. If you've ever tried Nutella, that's actually one of the products of hazel, is a hazelnut, um, which is super cool. Some things about me, I love to cook, and I actually came to Outdoor Ed as a fifth grader and also came back as a cabin leader, so I'm super excited to be back here as a naturalist this year. Um, we have a couple other naturalists that we want to introduce you to. They just got off the bus, or they're getting off the bus right now. Um, they just took a really long bus ride to get here, so they're kind of, they have a lot of luggage. They're, they're coming on out. Come on out, guys. Woo! So glad I brought all my stuffed animals to Outdoor Ed. When do we get to move to the cabins? I hear there are bunk beds. We have to go on hikes. I've never been on a hike. I'm so excited! Oh! Where are the banana slugs? I heard the banana slugs! Where are they? Fresh air! Finally, that bus ride was so long. Let's go! excitement they're really ready for this week of outdoor ed um so like trout said this is outdoor ed live we are going to be coming to you live every day from um 10 to 11 in the morning um monday through friday of this week we're also going to be doing a campfire session every evening from 6 30 to 7 30. so be sure to tune in on this same facebook page at that time you can definitely come with your families if you want um and enjoy some of the songs and things that we have prepared for you. These morning sessions are gonna be a little bit more academic, kind of like if you were at Outdoor Red, if we were taking you on a hike or something like that. So be sure every time you come to an Outdoor Ed session that you bring a notebook and a pencil so that you can participate in some of the activities that we have planned for you. And um, definitely come with a positive mental attitude as well. We're super excited to be hanging out with you virtually um, because you guys can come to Outdoor Ed. So, super awesome um that you're here yeah so um you may have noticed that we have these nature names um so hazel and trout so all the naturalists here have nature names and pretty much what a naturalist is is just an our outdoor ed teacher so just like your teachers at school except our classroom is this nice big redwood forest um so we all have our own nature names and we all have our own personalities and hopefully in this new shibuya song Everybody's gonna give you a little glimpse of both their nature name and a little bit of their personality. So we, I think we have our first three naturalists up right now. Get ready. Shabuya, shabuya, roll call. Shabuya, shabuya, roll call. I'm Chanterelle. Yeah. I love the trees. Yeah. And I in the forest. Yeah. I feel free. Oh yeah, Shabuya, sha sha Shabuya, roll call. Shabuya, sha sha Shabuya, roll call. I'm specific. Yeah. I think I'm terrific. Yeah. And I'm excited. Yeah. Let's get scientific. Oh yeah, Shabuya, sha sha Shabuya, roll call. Shabuya, sha sha Shabuya, roll call. Soy Shorro y Twinkle. Yeah. Me gusta el bosque. Sí. Hay muchas plantas. Sí. Como esos árboles. Oh, yeah. Shabuya. 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 Roll call. Shabuya. Shabuya. Roll call. My name is Lumen. Yeah. And I love the outdoors. Yeah. If you agree. Yeah. Stop the floor. Oh, yeah. Shabuya. 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 Roll call. Shabuya. Yeah. And that means sun. Yeah. yeah. When it comes to 
I'm cool. Yeah. Well, you know what's cooler? Yeah. Outdoor school. Oh, yeah. Shabuya. Sha, sha, shabuya roll call. Shabuya. Sha, sha, shabuya roll call. My name is Twig. Yeah. And I like trees. Yeah. If you want to have fun. Yeah. Then stick with me. Oh, yeah. Shabuya. Sha, sha, shabuya roll call. Shabuya. Oh, 
Come on, come on, come on, banana song. Come on, banana song. Just give me one kiss. Just give me one kiss. Bye. Come on, come on, banana slugs. Come on, banana slugs. You slime so fine. You slime so fine. Last time! Fine. Slug, 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 slug. Welcome to our first ever San Mateo Outdoor Ed broadcast live from our backyard here in the Redwoods to you wherever you are in your homes in San Mateo County and beyond. And uh, we want to welcome you here. Make sure you tune in every day, 10 o'clock, 10 to 11, and then at nighttime for our evening performances as well, our evening programs. My name is Soda Steve. I'm the principal of Outdoor Ed, and since this is live, anything could happen. <laughs> like, oh, Al could come down, grab my hat, and fly off, and we would all see it in real time, and that would be awesome if that happened. Now, speaking of my hat, my hat is a banana slug. Uh, these are the two tentacles that see. These are the two that feel. And uh, I'm sure the naturalist at some point will bring a, a banana slug on for you to see. In the meantime, I want you to be thinking about why is the banana slug our mascot? Why are banana slugs important for the redwood forest? Now, we want, you, we want to feel like you are here with us. So when the naturalist throughout this whole week, when they ask you to do things, uh, we want to know that you're standing up at home. Maybe you're doing those songs with us, doing the motions. Uh, maybe you're going out and looking for things just as they are looking for things. And keep some uh, a pencil and maybe a, a paper near nearby so that you can draw if they have any drawing or writing um, activities for you to do. Now, also, we want you to make some comments uh, on the website uh, as, as uh, we ask questions. Now, if you're just commenting about, hey, I'm here, uh, that will get, that we will get so many comments that we can't find the answers to the questions that we asked. So save your comments for when we ask questions or when you're making observations about things. It will make it easier for our team of experts who are ma monitoring the computer to find what you say and come out and maybe they'll give you a little shout out when they do. Um, and also the other thing is I just want to mention uh, already we've had some comments about us as a group uh, as being more than 10 people. Uh, we are socially distancing ourselves here and uh, you should know that we all Everybody lives here, so we have different households and they live together. So they're sheltering in place just like your family is doing too, as a fam as their own families. Um, so I just wanted to clear that up. So we're gonna have an amazing time this week. We wanna make sure that um, uh, you enjoy these naturalists. This is an amazing group of people, these naturalists. So we hope that you will be inspired by them. They are really smart and they, are, they have incredible enthusiasm for life and we hope that they will spark your enthusiasm to learn more about the natural world and to spark your sense of wonder. 
So right now, uh, Fern is going to come on and tell you some more. You might remember me, Fern. Um, I might have come to visit your school before you uh, were supposed to come to Outdoor Ed, and we're so sorry you couldn't make it, but we would like to welcome the schools that were supposed to come for the past five weeks or so to Outdoor Ed. So those schools include Audubon, Burry Burry, Nesbitt, Washington, Franklin Delano Roosevelt from Jefferson School District, Clifford Roosevelt from Redwood City School District, Juniper Sarah, Juniper Sarah, Fox School, Roosevelt from Burlingame School District, MP Brown, George Washington, Taft, and Brewer Island. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. We're so excited. This is your week of outdoor ed. So, like, just like Fern said, it's been kind of quiet here since yeah. there hasn't been any kids, and like, you kind of get to hear quiet. some more nature, but have you been seeing that? random person or yeah it's around. super weird i keep like well i'll just be walking through the forest and all of a sudden they'll just i'll see them out of nowhere like kind of running yeah, around in the trails that crazy hat yeah everything. it's super weird i don't know what they've been up to have you seen them like doing specific things yeah oh my Hazel. what have you seen <laughs> oh my gosh okay i was at pebble beach and i was like hanging out watching the waves go back and back and forth and everything and i heard that this laugh? Have you heard that laugh? Yeah, like before? the like, little cackle. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> and I was like, what oh is going gosh. on? And so, so I like started like peeking around this bluff, and, and I, I saw them again with that, that crazy hat, oh right? Oh my gosh! And they were just picking up pebbles one by one, the prettiest pebbles on the beach. I, really? I could see them from there, and they were just grabbing them and putting them in the pocket. I don't understand. No way. Yeah. Did they and know then, that was illegal? I, I don't know. That I don't is know. definitely illegal. Like, but I, then, then like pebbles. I was just like, what is going on? And then they scaled up the bluff it was like a 20 foot bluff <laughs> oh, and they just scaled straight crazy. up it was oh crazy gosh. i don't know sounds kind of like magic yeah right i magic. saw them when i was hiking down the creek i saw them with a backpack on and they were flipping over logs grabbing salamanders and putting them in their backpack and i was like oh. what are you doing with all those salamanders they need to be in their homes they just dismissed me and kept walking really? i was like that's kind of rude honestly like not very respectful to the nature yeah and then, you remember that last time when we finally confronted them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were up in the chaperone. We saw all these beautiful flowers. Right so around. many. There's so, so many. many They're just blooming right all over. Yeah. And while we were walking up there, we, we saw them grabbing flowers one by one and just putting them, again, in their backpack. And so we we're like, this is it. This is the last yeah. one. No more pebbles. No more salamanders. No more flowers. They're going to stop them. Mm -mm. So we went up to them. We we're like, hey, what are you doing? They're like, oh, this forest is mine. And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? And they're like, yeah, this is mine, that's mine, that salamander's mine. And we're like, no, like, we still You have to return having... those things. Yeah, they belong to the forest. Belongs to the forest. And then we're like, and we were going to show all these cool things to the kids. Yeah. And now you won't be able to see them. They're like, I haven't seen kids for weeks. And we're like, we're doing Outdoor Ed Live. Yeah. I know. And, and so I was like, you know, I know that, like, you know, you might be kind of new to all this like social interaction stuff but like maybe if you wanted to come and like meet some of the students they could you know learn some things from you you could learn some things from them and maybe you could learn a little bit about nature and like all these things that you've been taking from the forest instead of taking them you could just learn about them yeah and they so, said yeah yeah <laughs> we invited them and so uh can we have half the group call them out okay. we'll do this group right here this four and this four your four would say come on out and then this four will say lady nightshade okay Lady Ready? Nightshade. One, two, three. Come on out, Lady Nightshade. 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 Come
There's no students here. It's all mine. I can pick all the flowers I want. I can pick up all the salamanders. It's all mine. Oh. But since we're still having out for Ed and everything, you know, we want to make sure that we still have some of those salamanders and flowers for the kids at home. Hmm. You see, the thing is, though, is I don't really like sharing. It's it's kind of my thing. Well, you know what you know what my name means. My name's Lady Nightshade. Do you know what a nightshade is? I actually. It's don't. a deadly poisonous plant. It's not exactly something that's friendly. Oh wow! I did not know that. But now you know. You know, I think I think you can change that around, and you could be maybe a plant that would like to share sometime hmm. in your life. I, I don't really understand what you're saying. I think if you want to explain it to me, you have to give me a, a visual demonstration. Oh, that's, that's exactly what we have planned, um, Lady Nightshade. So okay. we actually have some skits prepared by the naturalists, oh. and they're going to teach you some things that you could use this week at Outdoor Ed to make your experience a little bit better. We want you to be thinking about how you can have the best possible experience um, through these things that the naturalists are gonna be acting out. So at home, you have to be thinking about what you think these naturalists are acting out. The first skit is gonna have to do with a word that starts with the letter A. So at home, you can be thinking about what word that is and then write in the comments section about what you think they are acting out and what Lady Nightshade could be doing a little bit better of. This week at Outdoor Ed. Hmm. All right, come on up, naturalist. All right, you better be good about this or I'll turn you into a toad. This stinks so bad. We don't even get to be at Outdoor Ed. We just have to watch it on the computer. Hey, Tabitha. What, hey, what are you doing? Beatrice. Watching Outdoor Ed live. I don't get to go because of everything happening, but I watch it on the computer. But that's so cool that the naturalist... Are, are you watching the naturalist right now teach you lessons yeah. at Outdoor Ed? Yeah. That's so awesome, Tabitha. I, I wish... Actually, I, you're right. You're totally right. This is awesome! Oh, look! I can see the redwood trees through the screen. Can I see, too? Yeah, come, come close-ish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah, see? Well, can you let me know what you're doing at Outdoor Ed later yeah, on? Yeah, I'll let you know what I learned. Thanks, Tabitha. You're welcome, Beatrice. Mm, nice, that was some good acting. Uh, so they were acting out this word that starts with an A, and so you can write in the comments below what you think um, changed. So Tabitha had uh, a bad one of these, and then it turned into a really good one of these. Um, while that's happening, oh, oh, we have our first answer. Our first comment. So Monica commented that she thinks it might be attitude. <gasps> that's right. Good job, Monica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice work. So the first thing that we want Lady Nightshade to improve in is her attitude. Because attitude. right now she doesn't have a very good one of those. Clearly. Oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah. So right. yeah. the yeah. next one is uh, a word that starts with the letter P. E. So again, you can comment down below um, what you think this word is. And we have another group of naturalists coming up. It is now Pacific and Poppy. Write in the comments what letter you think this word is that starts Lady with the letter Nightshade. C. Letter C. I, I got it. Oh, I'm so <laughs> glad we're done with our homework. We can finally watch Netflix. Oh, no, I'm so sad. After all that hard work, I can finally sit back and relax. Okay, so there's this new movie called Onward. It's on Disney Plus. I think we should totally watch that. No, Onward? I don't want to watch a new movie. I want to watch one that I already know. But it's going like. to be so good. Come on, mate. There's only one computer. We have to watch it together. Uh, how about I just choose? How about no? How about <laughs> yes? I don't. Come on, what kind of sister are you? Mom said we have to watch <sighs> together. Okay, right, fine. <sighs> How about one that's like kind of new, but one that I know that I also like? Frozen 2 just came out. I, I did love Frozen 1. That was a really good movie. I think maybe I could get behind Frozen 2. That sounds like a pretty good middle okay. ground. Middle ground. All Let's right. log into Netflix. Oh, yeah. There it is. Let's watch Frozen 2. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. So, do we have a, someone, maybe a comment for this word? We had a few people. We had Lacey and Vaishali both say that they thought it meant cooperation. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. Nice job, everyone. I could have sworn it was cackle. <laughs> could have been cackle. Now, the next one is T. Now, this one's a little bit different, okay? This is, it's three words, actually. It's T-N-T. -T. 
And so we have our last actors coming up. It's Cholo and Twig, and they are going to do some good acting skills. <laughs> Hey, Twig. Hey, so, hey. um, one of my favorite things here at Outdoor Ed is that there are so many cool things around us. Yeah. And the perfect part is that you have to be open to experiencing all these awesome, cool stuff around us. And one of the so coolest open, parts yeah. is you can join this club. I um, like clubs, I think. It's uh, the uh, Mud on the Face Club. The you get a little... Mud on the Ground Club? <laughs> mud, mud on the Face. The you on keep your, mud in the face. streams where it belongs you... club? In the in the in your, in your hands and in your face club. <laughs> I don't know yeah, about yes. mud on my face. That doesn't all, seem like something I'm gonna do. All you gotta do is just grab a little mud. Oh, that's all you're gonna do. You you got it. And then I'll just stay here. We'll do it. Yeah. You gotta try it too. You'll try it too. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. You got I don't it. know. It seems like <laughs> it's gonna be kind of dirty. You just put a little dirt oh, oh. on your face. <laughs> oh my god. And it's so cool. It's oh, so fresh. Oh no, that's so gross. It's gonna cleanse your skin. It's oh gonna be so gosh. cool. Oh my gosh. I don't. That's. I don't think I can do that. That's pretty. You got it. Yeah, 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 you can do it, swing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah, this yeah. is great. Oh my gosh, oh. it feels so nice. Wow, I'm so glad I did that. Ah, yeah. <laughs> awesome job. Okay, who can guess? Did you guys write in the comments what you think these three words are that that last pair just acted out? Does anyone have an idea from maybe the audience? Looks like there's a comment. Oh, we got a comment. Wow. Both Eileen and Laura said that they think it might mean try new things. Yeah! Yeah! Nice job. Oh. <laughs> so, can anyone guess what those three letters were that we just acted out and what Caps. it might stand for? Tick off. <laughs> ATC? Uh, C C A T or CTA. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Or maybe act. Oh. <laughs> That's exactly it. That so, makes sense. Um, we want, Lady Nightshade, we want you to be having a positive attitude. We want you to be cooperating with others this week. And we want to make sure that you're trying new things so that you can get the most out of this week. And we want you to act. Hmm. Do you think you can do that? Act. Good attitude. Cooperate. Try new things. I suppose your little games here inspired me. I might try these things, but I will tell you, as a being who is 1,000 years old, it is very difficult to change my mind about things. Well, luckily for you, you have all these naturalists behind you that are going to help you change your <gasps> oh mind. Oh my god, look at all these beautiful faces. We oh. believe in you, Lady Oh my Nightshade. gosh. Oh, that's so kind of you. Hmm. Yeah, maybe thanks for I joining us. I mean, maybe we'll have you come back some other time this week and visit with you a little bit. I might something. like that, actually. That cool. actually might be kind of fun. Cool. Well... I guess I'll leave it to you two to do your live streaming. Was that what yeah, you were calling it? Yeah, the live it? stream. Live Outdoor streaming. Live. There's no stream there at all. It's just, well, I don't understand. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs> Over. Really nice <laughs> nice um, before we get going to the next thing, I just want to talk a little bit about how you all can be doing these things at home, how you can be having a positive attitude, how you can be cooperating, and how you can be trying new things. So if you have any ideas of something that you can personally do this week at Outdoor Ed Live to be um, kind of embolizing some of these different uh, words that we got here, please write in the comments below so that we can hear from you of what you pledge to do, to have a positive mental attitude, to cooperate, and to try new things. Awesome. Oh, cool. So we're going to start moving right along to our disco hike now. It does not mean that we are gonna be listening to 70s music and there's gonna be a disco ball in the middle. Oh, um, it is actually gonna be yeah. our discovery hike. So on our discovery hike, we'd be walking around in this redwood forest and we'd be looking for all these new discoveries. And, and when you find those new discoveries, you're gonna hit a nice cool dance move. So I'm gonna hit kind of like a pointing in the air. Disco. Well, would you probably what? what dance Maybe like you a, a little disco move like that. Oh, yeah, okay, pretty cool. groovy. <laughs> Maybe kick the leg out, like you know, like a little shake of the leg, <laughs> a little right? Disco move. Yeah, and so um, hopefully we'll have a disco kind of pop around some sometime soon. Yeah, I mean, let's go. Let's go explore a little bit. Yeah, let's go so, explore. Let's go see what we can find in this forest that we can observe. Ooh. Ooh. 
Can you hear the birds? Oh so my cool. gosh. You got I a disco? Found something. I found oh a my disco. gosh. Look no at everybody. Way. It's a banana slug. No Look way. at this banana slug <laughs> hanging out. This is one of the largest banana slugs I have <laughs> ever seen. Me too. So with this banana slug, we can see that, again, it looks just like a banana. It really does. It is nice and yellow. It has its four antennas. Let's maybe move the shield out. Oh my gosh, look, Check it's popping out. out. There's two for its eyes and two for its sensory. It's kind of like their hands. Yeah. Now, with our discovery hikes, you can do this at home. Um, you can go in your backyard, your front yeah. yard, in um, 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 to your local park, and you can go and discover new things all around, okay? But we do have to tell you a few things, okay? The first thing is, is that when we find an organism like this, we need to make sure that we are protecting it and we're not trying to hurt it at any time. So with this banana slug, we don't want to um, touch it um, exactly with our hands because our hands have all these oils on our skin and we don't want to get it on the banana slug because it actually kind of breathes through our skin. It takes in a lot of oils through their skin. And so I'm gonna like rub some dirt on my hand and then be able to touch that banana slug, okay? Oh, it shook a little bit, that's kinda <laughs> crazy, yeah. And then um, if I want to pick it up and put it in my hand, so like a bug or anything like that, I wanna make sure that I don't freak out and keep it pretty close to the ground, just so that I can, um, if it falls off, it's just gonna fall just a few inches rather than standing up and walking around with it. And then once you're done looking at that bug, you can go ahead and set it back where you found it so that it can go back to its home. Yeah. Um, I actually have a really special naturalist skill to teach you all so that when you find your own discovery, maybe in your backyard, maybe it's even in your house if you find a cool bug or something, you can do practice this. It's called the three eyes. And those three eyes stand for these three statements that you can use to observe that that thing that you that you discover. So the first one is I notice. So you can say something that you notice. So write in the comments below something that you notice about this banana slug. And you can also write something that you wonder about um, this banana slug and something that it reminds you of. So these are some tools that you can use to help make a better observation about something that you find when you go on your discovery hike. Awesome. I, I'm gonna use them right now. Yeah, let's, this do banana. let's do it. Um, I noticed that it really, really looks like a banana. Like, yeah, pretty close. <laughs> like, really close to a banana. I noticed that it's a very bright yellow. Like, yeah, honestly, bright. one of the brightest shades of yellow I've ever seen. I noticed that this is probably the longest banana slug <laughs> I've ever seen. I've never seen one like you know that five. Long. And a half, five, six feet. I don't know. Yeah, maybe six feet. <laughs> um, do you have anything that you wonder about this banana slug? I just, I just want to know why and how did it get this big? Like, no. how much scat did it have yeah. to eat, or fungus, yeah. or I don't know. It had to eat a lot of food. A lot of stuff. Um, I wonder, yeah, how it got so long. I also wonder what these things over here are for. I heard someone say earlier that maybe they were for seeing things or maybe for feeling things. I want to know a little bit more about what those are used for and how they help the banana slug, especially one that must have a pretty powerful set of little antennae. It's so long and probably has gotten a lot of food and stuff like that in its lifetime. Is there anything that this banana slug reminds you of, Chuck? You know what? It kind of reminds me of Twig, the naturalist. Oh, yeah. It does kind of look like a twig. Yeah, right? It kind of just like... I don't know. I think I've <laughs> seen a twig look like this before. Yeah. All right. Well, awesome. let's go back to the naturalists. Yeah, let's go back and see what those naturalists are, are up to. Maybe we could have the naturalists do a little bit of a discovery as well and um, have them go find some things that um, they want to do the three eyes with and observe a little bit more. So let's go check out what they're up to. I have a few comments from the audience yeah. about what they noticed oh, just yeah. now about that very strange oh. banana slug you seem to find in the forest. They were noticing that it's really big for a banana slug. <laughs> <laughs> they were really wondering what makes it yellow. Vaishali wondered what made it yellow. 
And then Natalia said it reminded her of a person. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Do you think the naturalist might find a real banana slime now? Yeah. I yeah. found one. <gasps> oh my gosh. Look. Whoa, nice job, I think it's a little scared right now. Do you want to put it on? Yeah, let's put it on here so you don't have to hold on to it. So Sticky. you can write in the comments below for your three eyes what you notice about this banana slug that we have right here. And also write about some things that you wonder about the banana slug and some things that it might remind you of. Looks like some leaves are blocking its little breathing hole. Nice. How about we give this back to um, Lumen and then we'll go and see what the other yeah, let's see. come back. Let's check out what Poppy's looking at. Yeah, Poppy. Hi. I found all of these crazy branches with looks like lichen growing all over it. And it's got all kinds of different types, some kind of hairy looking ones, some kind of leafier looking ones. And then I was looking around and I noticed that they're also growing kind of at the base of this tree, things that look pretty similar. So it's kind of interesting. We've got some green stuff growing at the base of the tree and then going all the way up into the branches. And then those branches fell down and now I was able to find them down here, which was pretty cool. And I noticed that each branch in each part of here is kind of like a different shade of green. So many different shades. Awesome. Thank you, Poppy. Hey, Sin, how about you come and follow us over here? And uh, I think I think Chanterelle has a really big um, discovery that he has. Did you hit the discovery move? No, what's the move? Whoa! Do the leg kick, too. Check it out. Trout taught me the leg kick. It's my <laughs> disco dance. Let's see. Right over here, I found a little slime mold. And I poked it before and all of these little spores flew off of it. I'm gonna see if I can poke it again and see what happens with those spores. You can see it. Whoa, oh, look at them spreading all around. What happens when those, I wonder what the, happens when those spores release. Ooh, me too. That was an awesome escalation show. I'm pretty excited about it. Maybe we'll find Soleil on the other side, right? Yeah, let's go find it. I've been looking around for logs. I we're near a creek, so I really was trying to find some salamanders. Oh. Because they're one of my favorite animals. They're so little and slippery. But I haven't found any yet. You gotta flip no over worries. a little bit more logs and then maybe you'll find it. Yeah, maybe I'll I'll let you guys know. Awesome. How about we go back to Lumen's um, banana slug? He's very active now. Oh. Nice. Yeah, the students have been noticing some really interesting things. They've been sharing wow. a lot of observations. Nice. Yeah, we have Yuton who was noticing that it looks kind of chunky. <laughs> it does look kind of chunky. And Eugenia was also wondering about that. She was using the I wonder. Oh, nice. And they were thinking, why is it fat? Ooh. Hillary was also <laughs> noticing. It kind of reminds her of mush. It looks kind of mm. mushy. Ooh. And then oh, Gary good. was noticing the color. Oh. They were very specific it's in his star. comment. He said it's a dark shade of yellow. Oh. And then we had a really good question from Monica. Monica was wondering, how old is this banana slug? Mm. And Monica also wondered if it's prey to other animals in the forest. Ooh. Nice, Monica. That's a good one. That's a good wonder. All I can I can help with the age question. I know banana slugs live from five to eight years. What? So what do you Whoa. think? How old do you think this one could be? It looks like a pretty mature banana slug. I think it's pretty long. No, obviously not as long as the one we saw before, but this is one of the biggest ones I've seen. Yeah. Maybe we can get a little close up to its eyes. It's looking at all the students out there watching the live stream right now. 
Thanks for your comments, everyone. Those are some amazing observations. Keep using your three eyes, and we want you, once this live stream is over, we want you all to be making some discoveries in your, maybe in your backyard or your house, like we said, and um, seeing what you can find, and then doing the three eyes like we just, like we just did um, before, so that you can make some observations about some of the things in your backyard or your neighborhood. Got another comment? Alicia wants to know, why is there that hole on the side of its head? Did you all see that in the Ooh. video? Can we look at it again? Yeah. Hazel, can you tell us more about that? What is that hole? Yeah. So this hole, it's actually, we call it a breathing hole, but it's more than just for breathing. Um, banana slugs use that hole to scat or to release waste. And they also use that hole to reproduce with other banana slugs. Um, a really cool fact about banana slugs is that they're hermaphroditic, so they're both genders. That's why we use the they pronouns for banana slugs instead of he or she. Cool. Do you have some other facts, Trout, you want to yeah. share? Yeah. So we have just this little sheet that shows um, the different parts of a banana slug. So we have the mantle. You can kind of see that on the top right here. It was covering up those tentacles in the beginning. And then we have two pairs of tentacles. We have the optical tentacles, so the tentacles on top are for them to see. And then the sensory ten tentacles, which are on the bottom, they're letting it feel around for all their food that they're going to try to eat. We talked about it a little bit. We're at that all-purpose hole on this side. And then in the song, maybe you heard about um, it only having one foot. So all those tiny little lines that you see on the bottom is that one foot. We have the tail right here. And hopefully you can see this nice grid for a second. Yeah. And you can keep making those comments down below about all your eye notices and eye wonders. And it, and it reminds, reminds me, of, me of. Yeah. Awesome. Keep sending in those comments. Here, I can put that back. Thank you. Don't forget, if you find a little creature as you're doing your observations and exploring, be sure to put it back where you found it so that it can return to its home. Got some comments? Well, we have some wonders and... <coughs> It reminded me that, you know, some wonders we're not going to answer, but it's so cool that the students are bringing them in because this gives us possibilities for future research. Yeah. Um, I can't remember whose name it was, but someone was wondering about what the banana slug was eating and how it eats. Yeah. I don't know. Did you notice anything on its head that would help it eat? Yeah, I did notice that, yeah. So it had those sensory tentacles, right? They also had the, the, the optical tentacles. They're going to see and find that food on the sensory tentacles. And right underneath it is this mouth. And it would be chewing and gnawing on stuff until it breaks it all down. And it's a really good decomposer. It decomposes and makes all the nice soil that we have here. Josanna is um, saying that the skin of the banana slug reminds her of gold armor from Minecraft. Oh. Nice. That's an awesome and idea. Nicole is wondering how many there are in the forest. Oh, so and how you, many? We Nicole, don't have to there are so these, many. Right? They're just yeah. questions, which yeah. is cool. I mean, I don't have the answer to that question for I sure. Probably There's saw, probably like, thousands of banana slugs in the just forest. Just walking over here, I probably saw like five of them. So They're really like, active right now because we've had so much rain, and they really like it when the forest is really wet. So there's probably probably like thousands out there right now. Yeah. <laughs> Keep using those three eyes, but we're going to move into our next activity. Yeah. So this activity is something that you can try at home as well after you finish watching this video. It's called finding your magic spot. And your magic spot is a place that you want to go to in nature that makes you feel really calm and comfortable and a place where you can just relax and observe the nature around you. It's a really cool um, opportunity to sit in just one place and see how many different things you can notice just from that one perspective. Um, and the magic spot is a really cool place because you can always go back there and see you know, how things change with the seasons and with the different times of the day. So I encourage you all to find your own magic spot um, maybe in your backyard or somewhere nearby your home that you can go to and it will, it will be your special place in nature um, that you can make some observations in. So 
We have some a couple little naturalist skills you can use in your magic spot to help observe. Yeah, so even though that you're sitting in that same spot, you can always change your perspective. So you yeah. can either lay down on your stomach, you can lay on your back, you can do all the different things. Even just switching the other way around, maybe you'll get a whole new perspective of your sit spot. And one of the ways that we can do and find a new perspective is hawk eyes. So you can go ahead and get your goggles out just like this. And you can look around, you can look up. Maybe if you want to, you can get really down low and look all the way down and get microscopic and find some stuff inside your grass, anything like that. Yeah, and um, another trick that you can try is called coyote ears. And coyotes have the ability to turn their ears to wherever they hear sound coming from. Um, and so if you are sitting in your magic spot and you hear a sound, you can put your coyote ears towards that sound. And maybe if it's behind you, you can even turn them like that and see what you can hear when you amplify your sound by cupping your ears like that. So let's see if we can hear anything. Oh, I hear some birds. Yeah. So when you're in your magic spot, try out coyote ears and hawk eyes and see what sort of things you can observe um, that make you appreciate that special place in nature. So we're gonna actually have our naturalists go out and find their own magic spots and maybe we'll see what kind of things they're observing um, that you can try at home. So naturalists, go find your magic spots. Oh. look up enough so I decided that I wanted my magic spot to be a place where I could just look up for a while so I put my feet up this tree are you and in a club when you do that Bobby? you are you join a club called the feet up a tree club you put your feet right up a tree and you stare stare up at the um, sky and see what you can observe for about a minute or so and some things that I notice um, while laying here are that some of the leaves at the very top are just gently swaying and there's lots of branches that don't have any leaves until you get to the very top and they kind of remind me of like a little ladder going up the tree and I can hear all the birds in the background with my coyote ears and yeah if you see anything cool that you notice or wonder about in this spot make sure to comment it in the comments and yeah, it's just really cool. I can see on the bark the different patterns and in some different spots, kind of like right above my foot, there's these spots in the bark that look a little different. They kind of like bulge out from the tree and they've got like a different texture, a different pattern than the rest of the bark. Are you talking about these things right here? Yeah, right there. Awesome. Thanks, Trout. Thank you, Poppy. No problem. That was such an awesome little magic spot exercise. Let's see if we can find another naturalist doing some cool stuff in their magic spots. I see Chantrell over here looking kind of a little bit lower on the ground. stomach so I could get really close up in the, the duff and in the dirt here and I thought it was pretty amazing as soon as you pull away some of the the redwood needles there's all these little tiny insects that start hopping around and you can even see some of that uh, the mycelium from some mushrooms actually the fungus is growing in the soil which is pretty cool and I actually heard Poppy over there talking about um, the tree that she was looking at and when I moved away some of the duff I actually found these tiny little seeds and I just thought it was so amazing that these little tiny tiny redwood seeds can actually grow into those giant trees that we were looking up at before it's pretty amazing 
Nice. Did you use any of those natural scales, like maybe the Hawkeyes or? Um, yeah, when I when I first moved away the duff, I used my Hawkeyes to get really close, and then one of the little insects hopped up at my face, oh my and it really wow. surprised me. Yeah. Never know what you're gonna see. And it's true. Hawkeyes. Yeah, just yeah. like just like Solar said, maybe even a hawk might grab from his hand. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow, they're hopping all over the place in here, the little springtails. I don't know if you guys can see those on the camera, but little tiny bugs hopping around. They're very small. So cool. Seems like you're making a bunch of discoveries in your little sit spot. Oh, yeah. I like how you were, got so close that you could see those tiny little details. Because from this perspective up here, I can't even see them, but... Yeah, you, you got to get really close. You got to get really and close to be able to see You're them. moving all those dead leaves out of the way. Maybe you at home, when you're at your sit spot, you can move the grass out of the way or maybe some of that gravel or um, mulch, depending on where your sit spot is. Oh, yeah. The last thing that I found were these little pieces of charcoal. Wow. And I actually grabbed some of the charcoal, squished them up, and I put it on my face to join the, the charcoal club. <laughs> it's one of my favorite clubs. Nice. Sweet. Thanks for sharing. All right. Well, it looks like our naturalists are returning from their magic spots. We hope that you guys enjoyed watching us find our magic spots. And we encourage you, after we turn off this video, to go out and find your own. And that can be your special place um, where you can make some observations, kind of like our naturalist Shanti and Poppy did, um, to see what sorts of things you can observe in nature. and like get excited about. We'd love to see in the comments if you could share where maybe in your backyard or around your house could be your magic spot. That would be really cool to share some ideas. Yeah. Awesome. <coughs> yeah, if we have time. So we have time for one more song. This song is all about outdoor school. Um, so we hope that you all enjoy. We have um, some special guests who are gonna sing some of the verses for us. Um, but we can teach the chorus to you all so that you can sing along at home. So this is a repeat after me. Repeat, repeat after me. I never ever saw the stars so bright. I never ever saw the stars so bright. Our the cabin, cabin leaders are a heck of time. Our cabin leaders are a heck of time. The redwood trees reach amazing heights. The redwood trees reach amazing heights. A week outside will make you feel all right. A week outside will make you feel all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Then you wait a few seconds and then you go. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Awesome. So you all can sing it along at home. Um, this is your week of outdoor school, so embrace it and let's get started. Go on high and 
my tears on here. If you get dirty, we won't get mad. You make your family and but don't feel sad. I'm happy stuff stars so bright. Academy okay. leaders are shared with oh, us. Awesome. They had some really good ideas for places that they can go around their own houses and have their own magic spot. Manola was saying they could lie on their back on their shed in their backyard. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jaime <laughs> said they could go to their Sonoma house and find a magic oh, spot. Wow. Yeah. Nikki was thinking the soccer field would be a great place oh, okay. to sit in nature. Yeah, sure. And Jeronimo said they have a swing in their backyard where they could oh. sit and maybe observe nature and have a magic oh, spot. Wow. I also want to give a shout out to Monica. Monica has been giving really on task and positive comments during your whole lesson, and we really yeah, appreciate Monica. that. Yeah, yeah, Monica. <laughs> awesome. Thank you all so much for those amazing comments. We're so excited for you guys to find your own magic spots um, in some of those places that you mentioned, and even more. You don't have to have just one magic spot, you can have many. So go out and find your own after this video is over. Um, and make some observations with your three eyes and using some of those observation skills that we taught you with the coyote ears and the hawk eyes, stuff like that. Yeah, and we'll be back around 6.30. Yeah, um, so you can tune in tonight for the campfire that we're going to be having. We're going to be having a campfire every night this week from Monday through Thursday. And feel free to invite your families, your siblings, um, and we're going to be singing some songs, getting silly, doing some skits, just having fun um, so that you guys can... Have some fun with your families at home. Um, and then the last thing is if you want more activities, you can always look at the newsletter. And um, there's a bunch of activities and links um, throughout there to um, go check out. And you can also come back and replay this and do the activity all over again. Yeah. If you're excited about this week, um, give us a thumbs up. And also feel free to tune in in the morning sessions from 10 to 11 every day, um, Monday through Friday of this week. And remember. And remember. And remember.